headache, loss of sleep, loss of appetite, nausea, and stomach pain. These are just some of the symptoms of anxious thoughts. We all have worries, rather it be big or small. As someone who is anxious and overthinker, I found out the hard way that these thoughts are just joy killers. And I had to ask myself, why do we think these thoughts if they can do nothing to change the future? In today's video, we are going to ignore the anxious thoughts for a moment and discuss some tips I'm currently using to combat my anxious thoughts. While thinking of these questions and just thinking of what is causing you the stress or the worry, journaling is a great way to write down and express your feelings. Just get out a piece of paper, notebook, or even your laptop and just write down how you're feeling right now. And what's going through your mind? Put on some soft music and drink some tea while you do so and just relax and just let your thoughts flow. I found the exercising or physical activity can refocus your mind from other things that bother you and it focuses your mind and body on movement rather than the things that are stressing you out. It's hard to concentrate on two things at the same time. I would have to say that being creative and just indulging in art can really be a great stress reliever. It's probably one of my favorite tips and strategies I started using to help me remove stress and worry from my life. And one of my favorite ways to be creative is just writing. I love to write. I'm currently writing my story now. And I it's just an escape from reality. It's a joy and a passion I found. And when you have your creative niche or passion, it's a great way to just not focus on your life's problems or worries and just focus on what makes you happy. I highly recommend that you just pick up an art hobby or a creative hobby that is your new stress relief. A very well-known scripture in the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 reads, Don't be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Another great verse is 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7 reads, For the Spirit of God gave us, does not make us timid, but gives us power and love and self-discipline. And finally, Isaiah chapter 35, verse 4 says, To say to those with fear, for a heart be strong, do not fear your God will come, he will come with vengeance with divine repetition. He will come to save you. I found that reading the word of God and just going to these scriptures can be a way to realize that God's got you. Sometimes I do have doubts and my faith is weak, but I'm starting to learn and rely on God's word that he can help me through any situation that I'm going through. I also recommend that you get some rest. Maybe the thing that you're working on so hard is causing the stress. And the best thing to do is just simply walk away from it. Maybe for a minute, an hour, or whatever you know is best for you. Just step back and take a breather and just know that everything is going to be okay.